Nitribu APM leverages the scalability and performance of Nitro Security's award-winning Nitribu ESM to address customers' increasing need for advanced data leakage, threat, and fraud detection features as a function of the SIM. By monitoring the content of over 550 document types and application transactions over the network, Nitribu APM offers ways to better protect sensitive information such as financial, health and medical records, or personal information. Nitribu APM connects via a span or a tap and monitors both inbound and outbound user activity in real time, non-obtrusively over the network. It can monitor web applications, chat, email, P2P file sharing, shell and file transfer protocols, databases, voice over IP, printer protocols, and more. It can detect information leakage, monitor application use and misuse against corporate policies, add vital user and application context to security and forensics investigations, and increase visibility into application and network utilization. Now let's begin our demo and address some of the use cases we discussed by starting with the normalized event dashboard. We can quickly identify corporate policy violations. We'll drill down to the mail policy violation. Review the events and then the users. Here we can see the various kinds of events related to use of webmail or emails that are being, not being sent from the SMTP server and emails that are missing disclaimers. Using the Nitrobu user interface, you can drill down quickly to the root cause. You can just as easily find web, policy, chat, or document exchange, or even application special violations. Now let's address another important use case. Discovering sensitive data leaving your organization. Here you can see possible credit card numbers being sent over the web protocol and you can quickly identify the hosts, IPs, and source IPs that were responsible for that. And you can quickly drill down to the events. And then you can drill down into the details of what actually transpired on that event. APM captures the entire protocol stack so you can see every granular detail of what information was sent by whom and where. Looking at this example, it seems quite obvious. H, a possible credit card number was entered here to purchase tickets from movies.msn.com. Here's another example. Use of inbound and outbound video content, audio, and the possible use of credit card numbers and large file transfers. Discovering unauthorized applications with Nitroview APM is also just as easy. Here we discover MSN Messenger in use. Just as easily you can discover hundreds of applications utilizing any of the underlying protocols that Nitroview APM supports such as file sharing, video conferencing, various kinds of web email, and many more. Here's another example of what else did the user do type of analysis. We can drill down from any user identifier, like an email or a system logon. and then summarize all the activity that occurred from that ID.
The use of weak passwords leaves systems vulnerable to attacks. APM provides all the details, such as users, hosts, and applications, where the weak passwords are in use. Here's how you create rules for APM. You can launch the policy editor uh, from the device tree. There are shortcuts available on the actions pane. Or you can select a rule that you want to edit and copy. Let's copy and modify the rule inbound with your content so it alerts only when the size is greater than 50 megabytes. Here's the rule that we just copied. Now we can edit this rule. By double clicking on the rule, it launches the rule editor. All we want to do is add another property where the object size is greater than 50 MB. You can select the term which is also the metric name. In this case, we'll select object size. Set it to greater than 50 megabytes and say OK. And now we have customized this rule Here's another example for monitoring specific content. We'll copy the credit card rule and change the regular expression uh, to look for social security numbers. Setting the normalization ID for the rule correctly is an important step so that the events appear correctly in the normalized views. And that's it. Now you can view events generated from your rules in pre-built APM views You can create your own custom views, or you can correlate APM events with other data sources, such as NitroView DBM, NitroView IPS, or the receiver and third-party sources. You could trace back credit card numbers discovered in an inappropriate file transfer over a chat session to a customer database by correlating APM events with SQL queries logged by NitroView database monitor. Well, the possibilities are endless, and all the information is at your disposal. Hope you enjoyed the demo.